The aim of the Eco Cement project is to reduce the carbon emission of the cement product by the substitution of components and by the implementation of a biomimetic technology. This technology should enable to convert industrial wastes, mainly cement waste and other byproducts, into ecological hydraulic binder. Through the microbial-induced calcium carbonate precipitation via urea hydrolysis and the formation of the bicarbonated ions. In the eco cement, we do not have just a binder as in the ordinary Portland cement, but a mixture of different components. Line components present in the cement kiln dust collected from the bypass filter of the cement production line. Phosphorylic additive due to silica present in the rice husk ash. Wash sand as aggregate. Low cost urea solution coming from agriculture sector. The first operation is the revitalization of the bacterial biomass needed for the urea hydrolysis. The dry matter composed by Sporosarcina pasteri in PAV are ripened in dry poultry mania and soaked with a solution of whey, a waste from dyer industry in the agriculture area. The containers are placed in a water bath, 30 Celsius, for 3-4 hours and the conductivity measurement is used for controlling the level of bacterial activation. Once the bacterial biomass is ready, we can prepare the eco cement paste mixing the different components and the proportion defined by the standard, usually one binder, three sand, one water. The cement kiln dust. The sand. The rice ass ash. Urea solution, the revitalized biomass. All the components are blended for three, four minutes, controlling the temperature. and the pH. After that, the eco cement paste is made, it is poured inside the molds for small mortar tiles with two brick as batting mortar and under brick support for the plaster use. Taking into account the amount of available lime, higher of 15%, Present in the cement kiln dust, the final product can be considered as an aerial mortar. The day after, the mortar inside the mold is removed. The performance of our products will be evaluated firstly using not standard tests such as uh, drilling resistance, indenta, and breaking load and traction. All products are placed inside a humid chamber for curing. <laughs>